Hello everyone and welcome back to Splatoon 3. In this video we're going to check out all the recon uh, stages so you guys can see all the stages um, as well as I. Um, we The tour 4 stages look different from the ranked modes so since I'm going to be playing mainly ranked I want to look at the Splat Zones versions. Let's first check out Scorch Gorge. This one we also played a lot during the demo or the the big uh, splat fest. I was team paper. So here you can see the cool armor we have when we jump in and it goes away after a little bit. Um, yeah, this is Scorch Gorge. Um, as you can see on the map, um, we have a big area to spawn. You can jump back and um, there's a lot of height here, which is good because if the other team gets in, then they won't be able to get like through this uh, funnel really easily because this is the only way they can get in pretty much. And um, the only thing that's not so great about this map is that for the other team to get into spawn, they can only go over this grating, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but you've got a lot of area to cover here. Like these walls are all are all uninkable. I kind of wish we had maybe a sponge or something that could help us get up, but you know, it's fine. Um, long range, long range weapons, like, um, my, uh, heavy splatling, which I don't have yet. Um, they like to stand, like, behind here, um, to, to, like, get cover and then shoot you because then they can, like, reach all the way over there. That's a lot less far than it looks, by the way. Huh. Um, and then the zone here is a very big zone. And then on the other side of the map, because Splatoon maps are mirrored, um, it looks the same as here. So, from when, once you get over here, you can drop down to this area, where again, oh, this, this wall you can ink. It's a cool little sneaky spot right here. Um, so yeah, you can like hide over here and have like a fight going on, so you can like maybe flank someone while they're over there to get over here, behind the little wall. Yeah, you, you would expect to be able to get up here, but you can't. The only way is to get... Is to get up here and then walk over the grating. So that's Scorch Gorge. Okay everyone, welcome to Eeltail Alley, another map we got to practice on. This map is in the middle of Splatsville, you get to see all the apartments and stuff. Um, the train with the graffiti going by. Um, here's the layout. A lot of height, actually. Um, you can, I think, super jump up on this grating somehow. Um, but it's a little bit finicky because it, it is on the map. You can't stand on it. It's an interesting choice. There's some flowery. I didn't really show a lot of Scorch Gorge, um, the area. But most of it is actually... Um, you can hear like a bird cry a lot and... A lot of jellies are just climbing around, and it's mostly just big wind, wind and wasteland energy. Oh, this is the special. The big bubbler. And you can jump to it because it has a beacon on the inside. This little guy is trying to call. But you don't. E you aren't even holding the phone yet. Maybe he just likes pressing the buttons. Let's take a look around. So you got this little area where you can go up here. This is uninkable right now, but you can go up on um, this house here or this roof. I don't know what this shed is or what this building is. I don't know if it's an apartment. No, it's probably not a house. But there's some water down here that goes to Iltail. Il uh, not Iltail Alley, but maybe to like the Undertow Spillway. There's a jelly over there washing his clothes. Let's look around. Yeah, over here you see just mainly like a big wall. Um, this is the main bridge where a lot of fights happen. And because this is the ranked version, the bridge is not connected. Oh, cool. They've got like a split over here. That's handy. That's cool. This is a very big zone. You would really have to fight well to contest here for this. Um, as a Hydra player, I would stand behind this block a lot. I could use this to, like, fire over there. 
um, or I could push up even like a lot a lot of little corners for me to stand as a high as a heavy a heavy splatling main. So these corners are very great for like small like um, you know small fights with weapons weapons like the junior who are which are like sh pretty short range. I just I just took control of the zone. So yeah, only this side of the block is inkable. And I originally, um, before the game came out, I was wondering if you could search, like, squid search up on these, like, higher pedestals, but you can't. So, yeah, that is, um, Eel Tail Alley. Yeah, very big spawn area, very nice. You can get a lot of ink here for your special, um, super cool. Okay, you guys, welcome to Hagglefish Market. I've got this very cool blue teal teal ink color going on. This is in the middle of the um, ocean or like the water here in Splatsville. Um, there's a lot of details to look around on. Like this little jelly over here with the clothes store. There's cool graffiti and art from the posts. And you can see like it's a bit of a port area. Oh, you heard the boats. Yeah, over there. Fun fact, I'm from the Netherlands and I've seen like this view so much um, because I live pretty close to uh, the harbor, I guess, or port. What kind of fish is that? It reminds me of um, a certain Pokemon called Bruxish. Bruxfish? Bruxfish. Bruxfish. Difficult name. These you can push around. <laughs> kind of fun little detail. And then they go away. That's cool. Hagglefish. Um, I don't know if I've ever played on this map, but the... The boxes are fun. Here's an ink rail. You can jump all the way over here. And then you can stand over here. Um, let's see the layout. So this is another pretty great layout if you ask me. The spawn is very wide again. Which is great. Um, I don't know if the other team can get up here. But there's a lot of area like grates and stuff. And uninkable surfaces that you can just stand. So you can fight and contest. And then over here there's like this little choke point. Um, there's like a little, some details over here, the crate. Hear that? Different footstep sounds. Very nice. So yeah, this is why, um, if you watch the tournament, there was a tournament for professional players. They were trying to push, um, with clam blitz up here because then this, the, the basket is in over here. But you know, like you have to go through this grading, which is kind of like a cool detail. But you can also, I think, um, yeah, you can go all the way around like this, and then you can uh, flank. I kind of do, I wonder why they made it that all of these walls are so uninkable. I do like having more movement options, personally. Hi. Oh, look at the little baby jelly. So cute. We've got some trash in the water that's less cute. Here's the side area, so you can jump up here, over here, that's how you flank, because down here again there aren't any walls you can ink. So yeah, you're kind of forced to go to the zone a little bit, um, and then the side areas are, you know, well defended, but you also got the high ground over here and no one can get, no one can get up from here. So yeah, it's a good map, let's look around a little more. Very nice. Oh, there's... I love I love the little details of the jellies always doing something. It's always very nice. Can't... We can't um, use this sponge. But you can just jump up here. And then here's the enemy spawn. Some more fish. Yeah. Wish I could paint this off the wall, but I can't. And yeah, that's Hagglefish Market. Here we are everyone on Undertow Spillway and look at this beautiful view of the beautiful little nature filled jellies just enjoying <laughs> nature. A couple sunflowers down here which is very interesting. Um, so this map is based on the actual like actual spillways they have in Japan which is super cool. We're in orange right now which is a very Dutch color I might add. <laughs> So this map we also played a lot during the Splatfest, the premiere 
the world premiere Splatfest. Up here you've got these grates where um, they feel a little bit bigger, I, I think, right now. I'm not sure. Um, where, you know, your snipers can stand to, like, try to get the other side. Um, but it does mean that, you know, underneath here... You can't do anything, so that makes the that makes the pressure from snipers a little bit less, which I think is very nice. Um, it makes long range uh, anchor weapons will have to be a little bit more creative. Um, and yeah, you can just place a beacon here, you know, if you're going out. It's not it's not a permanent beacon. I don't know if there are weapons that are have just the beacon anymore as a sub special or as a sub as um, a sub weapon. But yeah. Here's the map layout. Um, let's jump back to the beginning. So you got a very, very wide spawn area here. So you can go all the way right or all the way left. Um, and then eventually when you drop down, I don't think you can get back up. Because now you've dropped down and you can you can see like everything is just metal. So you cannot get up there again. Um, over here, this is a very good spot. If you're a long range player, this is where you want to stand to put pressure down. Um, in ranked, so you can like aim and get people over there. Um, as a tips, uh, tips for a ranked player. Oh, there's a sponge here. You can get up. As an anchor, you're supposed to be the furthest back in your team, but sometimes people just don't want to push in, and um, then you sometimes have to play a bit more aggressively. But you know, solo queue is solo queue. In in uh, solo queue, you're ranking. You're just playing with random people, so. The games can go a number of ways. Let's see the way into their spawn from this side. So uh, once you once you get over here, you're already on their side of the map. You're in enemy territory. You have to run up here because you don't have a whole lot of speed, um, and there's no other way up here. Um, and then you can like kind of occupy this area as well. Um, drop down here, which um, the enemy team can get easier easier access to because they can just drop down here. Um, to maybe like go around and try to, you know, sneakily get over here back to the zone while the rest of your team might be over here. So you really got to pay attention to some positioning. But this map is really cool. I really like it. And it's just, it's such a cool vibe, you know. Uh, look at it. Like, it's metal. There's, there are high walls everywhere. You're underground. Super cool. Our next map here is Mincemeat Metalworks. I've played on this map a couple times. Um, this is the last of the, the new maps that we've got uh, right now. But there are more maps coming in future updates such as Flounder Heights. Which I have never played because I have never played Splatoon 1. So I'm looking forward to playing it even if the height seems reduced. This map is really fun, really cool. You've got this bottom mid area down there where a lot of fights can happen while a lot of people are... Up, on, up above you and people can like go around and get up on the upper level on the trucks which is super interesting again you've got a pretty wide um, spawning area it's big enough um, and you've got all this area to paint over here there's a little safety guard so, so that you don't fall off it's a truck I don't know why they would place it like this, but you know, it's a metal works. You know, it's, it's, their it's their job to know this stuff. Um, yeah, so this is a bunch of metal where they would do a bunch of like metal work. Um, the zones, there's only one zone here in the middle. So you have to, you have this very long zone, which is very interesting, interesting shape. And then over here, you've got like a flanking area. And yeah, again, the only way to get into... Oh, sorry if that was a bit quick. The only way to get into the enemy spawn is over here, over this grate. Um, and then you're up here. And as soon as you die, you're just out. Um, this you cannot ink, so you're kind of just like over here. But yeah, I like the metal grates. Um, it adds some variety, like these orange metal grates are very nice. Compared to like maybe some uh, black or metal textured ones, like grey. Yeah, I don't have a lot to say for Mincemeat Metalworks. It's a very cool map. I really like the layout. Um, I also love the vibrations in the controller with this game. Like, it feels very good to swim in squid form. Or in uh, swim form. Not squid form. Because now we've got Octolinks. So 
So this zone has almost stopped counted, counting down. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just stays at zero. <laughs> that was a bit of tension for nothing, I guess. Um... So yeah, this upper area is where I would stand a lot to like fire at people, but I still haven't played a lot, any ranked really yet. Um, I'm just doing recon right now to refresh myself on all these maps. So let's go on to the next one.